Good evening, everybody. Welcome to one of our hottest days so far. It's been quite uh, quite nice down here in West Sussex, so hopefully the rest of the world, and those that are in from over the pond, have had a worthwhile day. I have a pair of earwing, uh, earworms tonight. Let me bring them on screen. They're both dressed up really nicely. So we've got Andy H. And we've got Scott. Hello there. One of his first Evening. times out since uh, coming out of hospital. Yeah. So be, yeah, they, be they careful let, with them. They let him out. Yeah. Yeah, be careful with them. Right. You're going back to me for a minute because since it's my show, um, I did give you a preview the other week of that's the bit I will turn. But I said there's a branch coming out the bottom. <laughs> just a bit just a little bit of a branch coming out of the bottom and it's actually relatively punky across there and there's another spot up there as well so there's a couple of areas of, of punk so i'm going to be putting a mortise in there <laughs> hopefully <laughs> so, good luck so blind bulbs <laughs> yeah yeah i'm gonna change cameras and go on to uh I try take your pick yeah. try that one to start with and uh while i'm getting move. set up it's on an f chuck which is slightly smaller than the conventional c chuck but that gives me big enough mounting point and it's like it says, a bit of Malaysia, uh, Malayan Paduk. And for all the technos out there, it is close on. It's just shy of nine inches by two inches thick. So I'm aiming to use most of it. Um, it really depends how it turns. There are a couple of saw marks down here um it's quite a wild piece of wood so let's uh, get rid of the mouse get rid of me table get myself set up and hopefully a sharp chisel i don't know how sharp it is but uh, i'm gonna start spinning the bit of wood and one of the boys undoubtedly will let me know who's in the chat. Yeah, I can do that if you like. If that's all right with you, Scott, you put your yeah, feet you up. Crack on me. Yeah, I'm going to go through the StreamYard list because the other one says there's 25 people in, only 15. So, um, Eric Winkler, three times. Circular Wood by Keith, you may have heard of him. He's around somewhere. Bob Nye, evening, Bob. Lawrence Bugasia, Peter Corcoran, Barry Chitty. I don't lose my place as I move it up. I have done already. Uh, Terry Bartlett, Linny Kin, Sallow Linny. Hi, kiddo. Did you get Lawrence, oh, mate? Yeah, I did, I did Lawrence Yeah, earlier on. Lawrence Bugasia, anyway, just to make sure. Uh, Doug Miller, uh, where did you tell you that? James Crawford, hey, 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 Look, too much chat going on, Brian at Hartwood Turning, hello Brian, the wand man, Douglas, Jimmy's Cabin, Nick Castle, Ta -da, John Scarborough, I've lost my place again. It goes up quicker so than I expect it to. There's a big lump just jumped out. Nice. That's now hollow. Um, but it's a gorgeous bit of colour. So I might have to lose a little bit off the bottom because it uh, won't give me a big enough uh, mortise in there. As it stands. Um, Woodwork and Paul. Chris Granville. Bob, oh, Bob and I have already said. Eric Lawrence, Peter. Yep, 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 yep. We're nearly there, I think. 
Uh, Trevor P, Hobby Turner. Wood Copper L, Wood Turning. And I think that's it. You obviously Good found evening, somebody. everybody. <laughs> uh, wood Turning by Barry. Missed that one. Yes. Oh, there he is. Yes. And the Blue Light Turner's Workshop, of course. Oh. Who let him out? I don't know. They let anybody uh, in these days. Yes, Terry. Um, I'm getting there slowly, mate. I'm allowed to sit in my workshop in this room. Terry, who's visiting? visiting? As you've just heard. Um, so I'm getting there. I've nearly done every episode of Only Fools and Horses. <laughs> oh, we missed Malcolm Douglas. Sorry, Malcolm. Oh, sorry, Malcolm. It was deliberate, Malcolm. They told me they'd miss you. Just to see if you were awake. And he is. That's how I'm impressed. <laughs> I blame the tablets. I'm going to turn the dust extractor on. <laughs> uh, huh. It's a bit dusty, is it? Oh, it does take a little bit away. I've got the wall extractor running, but... Uh, yeah, this it'll is help remarkably you dusty. Mm -hmm. Is it very dry? <laughs> Silly question. The, yeah. Oh, yeah. See the yeah. dust on my arm? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Oh, it is a bit. Uh, Ian Leonard's in. I'm trying to make this one a slightly different shape to what I normally do. But uh, there's a hard bit. There's two knots in that piece. There's a hard piece. So that's why it's banging a little bit. I'm going to take a fraction off the edge, hopefully lose a little bit. So I'm going to try and fire most of it away from me. For the nerds out there, we are running at about 800. And I have to say about, because there's no readout on this uh, setup I've got. But I know what it was previously, so... I'm guessing at about dust. 800. See the dust on I'm that, happy it? with it at that yeah. speed anyway. I don't want to do too much sanding on this because of the dust element. So I'm trying to get a good finish off of the tool. Sounds like three coats of Yorkshire grit to me. <laughs> Have you run out of bricks then, Keith? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, loaned them to others. <laughs> Haven't I, Andy? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> me? Uh, yeah, I'm quite, quite happy with that off. Yeah, quite happy with that colour off of there. It's quite there a strong colour in the middle there. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm. And that Lovely. is hard just there. So oh, it is. If we can. And it's hardly it. moving, is it? <laughs> That's what she said. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Somebody had to say it. <laughs> yeah, and the issue that I'm going to have is that is sapwood and exceptionally hard heartwood. Oh, 
unfortunately, it's cutting well. It is, isn't it? Yeah. And it's peeling off the chisel nicely. So, to me, that means you've got the lathe running at the right speed and you're pushing the, oh, the lead in the chisel work across it at the right work. speed as well. Yeah. There's a little bit of tear out end grain there. Um, oh, your brick will get rid of that, so that's all right. Yeah, it will. Yeah. Yeah. But I think, I think we can work with that. So I've already got the dividers set up. So left leg only. Touch it on. Mark it. We've got 26 in. Don't forget, if you enjoy what Keith's doing, please hit that thumbs up. That will if show you don't, the... don't enjoy it, you can still hit the thumbs down. <laughs> it just won't count. Yeah. They all count, don't but care. it just shows the YouTube algorithm that you enjoy what Keith's doing, you enjoy wood turning, and it will suggest videos for you. Going on to a little quarter inch sole gouge now. I have taken these out with a spindle gouge, but uh, not on a bit of wood that's quite like this, I don't think. So I think we're better off sticking to the bowl gouge. And I'll get the old faithful out in a minute. Those F-jaws are great, aren't they, with that, that small mortise? It leaves yeah. plenty, plenty of timber mm. around it. So I, I've enjoyed the, using mine. My favourite tool for this is... I got uh, one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, I, I think a lot of people have now. Yeah, I made myself one, yeah. I've still got that original thing you made me, Keith. Right. That's the breeze block, isn't it? Not a house brick. No chisel for doing the pen in <laughs> donut. <laughs> I thought it was me that was forgetful. Now I forget it's, you know, it's dementia, isn't it? Yeah. I can't remember who is forgetful or not. Yeah. yeah. Hey, so, what? Who are well, you? I don't know. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Am I supposed to... Don't ask, don't ask me difficult questions. What are we doing yeah. here? <laughs> I'm marking well, look, the dead look, centre. Somebody turning some timber, eh? Yeah, and I'm going to put a couple of little rings on it in the bottom to make it look like I have tried. And I'm also going to put a couple on the base. You so have tried. I do You're decide. Very trying. Yeah, I know. Someone's got to be. Right. That's, my, that's my phone. I apologise. Can't hear it. That's all right, then. It's me muffle on me on me mic. It's working well. It is working well. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So I'm well and truly unorganised tonight. So bear it's the with only, me. only way to go, Keith. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've uh, I've spent all day giving a neighbour a hand to paint my roof. Oh, well, oh, I right. foot the ladder for him. Uh huh. Well, that's my excuse anyway. Yeah, I've been down at the museum all day, so it's yeah. really, really busy today for Thursday. It's unusual. Right, so we're going, Con going in with a bit of, of 120 today. We're not going to mess about. I'm back in reverse. And I think it's too fast. Little tip, Keith, don't try cutting when you're going backwards. It doesn't work. It doesn't put the wood back. When you're going backwards, don't try cutting with the gouge. It doesn't work. You remember I yeah. tried it. <laughs> well, I thought it stuck the wood back on for you. Well, yeah, well, it didn't. The back. It just didn't work. <laughs> uh, did we say good evening to Copper? Yes. Yes, I did. Uh, Eric didn't believe what you were saying. He said, Scott, how are you doing, really? <laughs> I, am, I am getting there. Yeah, but you've answered him, so that's good. Yeah. You can see how dusty this is. This is with the amount coming off with. Yeah, but it's going very down the pipe. Pressure. I know. It's going down the pipe, so that's good. I don't want it up my hooter. No. I'm actually it's getting the job done as well. That I've been meaning to do for ages. 
I really are. It's not all bad then. No, no it's like that's one drawers I've wanted to sort out. Joe's just been taking them out of the cabinets, bringing them in, and then I've been sorting them out. Don't, don't want to discuss your underwear. No. <laughs> keep keep it clean, in girls. In uh, <laughs> well, you're talking about your drawers. I mean, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I know he used to be commando, but. Uh, yeah, but they won't let they won't let me in the real commando. So, oh, I thought you'd outgrown <laughs> that now. Yeah. All right, that's one twenty done with. A bit of at least second hand two forty. It's got a little bit of uh, grit on that end, so that's make good it, enough. Make it last, yep. Yeah. yeah. And mind all this, use it as if somebody else is paying for it. <laughs> They're not. I am. <laughs> I'm paying for yeah. mine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm. Paying for uh, mine. Yeah, I must say this this Abronet does does extend the life of it. It may cost a bit more, but quite impressed with that. Have you tried the Auto Net from Taylor's Murfield? No, I've only just tried Abronet, so um, <laughs> no, I haven't. No, is so it similar? This, there's lots of net abrasives out there. Um, Dan at Taylor's does both. Um, the auto net, I think, only comes in a three-inch disc. Um, right. But it's really, 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 really good. Um, okay. I use it for standing, and I think I'm still on my first uh, discs. It is amazing how long they last, isn't it? The, the, yeah, the netting ones. Just lightly go over that with four hundred, as it's so soft. Before I give it a drink with Ger uh, sanding sealer, Gerard Hi. the French Turner is in. Hi, Hi lads. Gerard. Just a, just, just Hi, a quick Gerard. hello with, between two burgers. He says. <laughs> I thought a burger went between two buns, but you know he's he's doing, having his between two burgers. <laughs> Terry's asking is there not some sort of mask that can be used with a microphone um, yes. most Try, of them can but, be yeah most of them can be but uh, it depends on the individual's voice as much as anything else because some people have got really clear voices others like myself that talk and Sussex me. and me Yep. At, uh, we're a little bit nasally and that doesn't help on the um, mics picking it up as well so some of the headsets work quite well um, they all work well <coughs> but uh, some work better than others right let's dry that off and that has really given that a bit of zing evening Brian sure. Brian at Hartwoodson Oh, the troublemaker. Yeah. <laughs> we weren't quite sure yeah. about his smock at lunchtime. No. That, that no. took me back to my 90s, that did. Was <laughs> it the green, the green one? No, happy smiley faces. The smiley oh, faces, um, yeah. I haven't seen that one. I saw a little <laughs> bit of that, but I couldn't stop very long because, oh, like I say, I was uh, foot in the ladder because my neighbour has been up on the roof for me, um, black bitumen in it. The well, yeah. tin was starting to uh, rust, which was I a started bit of a to watch it, summer. and then um, I nodded off. I won't lie. Oh, that's unusual. <laughs> and the, <laughs> the oh. Linikins is saying there's nothing sexier than Andy breathing with his mask on. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, I've got, I've, I've got me, me thing on the end now. Me condom. Yeah. Ooh, to stop all that. Harry condom. Right, I think, in actual fact, guys, that there won't be any. Yorkshire Grit tonight because I believe it's still down the museum. Ah. In the workshop. So, anyway. Uh -huh. I'd have dropped some up to, up to you if I'd have known. Yeah, I'm not worried. Well, I think I what Linnikins uh, thought was my breathing was, in fact, me trying to blow the dust off the filter that I was going to show. Oh, good. The, the, face, the face mask. Another blow job, eh, Handy? Yeah, that's it. GVS, I think it says. Right, so what do I do? I turn it down to about a hundred ish. I've got my old Libron 
black bison clear although it's orange paste wax and a wee brax pad <laughs> so i'm just going to massage that in exactly the same as you would do yorkshire grit and the wee brax pad is rated at 1600 so it does give me a nice finish and it's still wet sanding so you're not getting it dust. Is wet sanding and as it's such a fine pad the pad it doesn't really show on this but it sometimes does on a new, on a new pad this one's well and truly saturated with wax now i've got that worked in exactly the same as yorkie grit whack up the volume now the reason i use this one as opposed to wood wax 22 wood wax 22 is suggested that you leave it for 15 to 20 minutes to um, let the nasty bits evaporate off and set up a bit of a skin this one you can buff straight off so i'm up to about about 800 in forward so what i'm going to do now as i can kick it into reverse exactly the same speed run it over massage it in put that away put the lid on because i do happen to have a habit of uh, putting them on the floor inadvertently which podges in hi guys welcome everybody hey, hope that beaver's behaving himself not too hot over there for him is it can't have a beaver with a hot tail <laughs> so now back into forward and you can see the shine coming on this already and this is the method that i used and have used for a good few many years before I found Yorkshire grit. So I'm massaging it in gently, wiping it off. Brian says hard. he's a bit worried about linikins. I don't know why that is. No, I'm just trying to work that one out. <laughs> yeah. What, do you, what have you got to know about that I don't know about, mate? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, nothing, sex, nothing sexier than Andy breathing with his mask on, was what Linikin said. I think that's what he was referring to. All right. Okay. <laughs> She's right. I mean, there is not a lot sexier than that, I have to say. <laughs> you, how about that for colour and finishing, guys? Look at that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that. And I can get, easily overwax that if I need to. You do get some lovely, lovely timber, Keith, I have to say. Mm. No, I just think that the finish on that is... It's lovely. I yes, would it's as good um, as what uh, you get with Yorkshire grit. I would say so. Um, Certainly so from here, it looks that way. It's a little bit deeper colour in the flesh than what it looks there. But uh, just tighten it up to it, run it round. All I'm doing is if there is any wax left in the taper i'm clearing it out and cutting the crap out if there is any before i tighten it up fully so hopefully that will run well if you hit the green button you can't run much truer than that so now we can start making a mess of the outside I'm going a bit tighter, I think. I should have to watch Brian's demo back. It obviously was quite good. A nice wonder was the result. So Okay. So Ooh. 
where did Rondwick come from? I know it was Brian. It's all Brian's fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it's not even to... near Halloween. It's like... No, he just decided, decided to lay down the challenge of getting, I think it was Mark, to do make a, a wand with a skew. Uh, so it was about a, a skew challenge more than a wand challenge, but but, um, but it's been done, and by lots of other people as well. So yeah, yeah. Uh, and we'll come to that later. But we keep. Yes. Yes, we're going to... I've got a little announcement to make a bit later on regarding the one challenge. So as I've undercut the bottom, I'm radius in the top. Yeah, nice. I think I've got to increase the, the volume because it's jumping in and out of something that's better so we're half an hour in are we guys uh, we are. Uh, yeah nearly. 26 yeah. minutes we've got rich on after me so I'm hoping yep. to get this finished in the next half an hour, which I don't Rich think is, is going to be a, a problem. No, Rich is invading fun. Barry from Real Simple Things tonight. Yeah, and Barry. quite interesting. Yep. But you've got... Barry? That's nine o'clock, isn't it? So you've got an hour before that, so... Yeah, but I don't want to leave it to the last minute. No, 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 but there should be plenty of time. Is it? Sorry, oh, yeah. I'm trying to say, yeah. Yeah. That's if he can't I hollow that bowl in an hour, there's something wrong here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little job like that, yeah. <laughs> hey? uh -huh. I could start calling him someone else, but I won't. I don't see him in any of these chats. Oh, I don't think he does, YouTube, mate. You don't do he anything, now. <laughs> you definitely lost me now. Yeah, don't worry he's a, about it. He's a fellow club member. I thought he might be. Normally hangs around with me. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steve SK did one live on Sunday. Bond of skew. I thought it would be a good idea to get people to practice. Sounds very good. I don't know what Gerard's up to, but he's um he's doing five more burgers. He says, "Is that all we're selling tonight?" He must be at work. Yeah, he must be. Work, yeah. Isn't he? Yeah. All right now, I now I'm happy that that's not going to move. I can take the faceplate off, especially if it's in reverse. It does work a lot better that way. The drill. They're only inch screws, so they're only in barely three quarters of an inch. At uh, that f. Faceplate ring, ideal for this size. I've turned up to 12 inches with that. No problem whatsoever. I don't, I don't know, know what, Eric, say. Don't know what Eric's, Eric's been done. using. Sorry, go on. Yeah, he's, has he been on the medicine again? It says, Brian, just finished my wand with a wannabe skew, not a real one. So <laughs> I hate to think what he's using, but it won't be a skew. Yeah. <laughs> so do I. Please tell me it's not actual wood chisel. I can't think what I'm returning to. You'd... Not unless you use the side of one of your gouges as a skew. Well, you know I do that with the roughing gouge. Yeah, so do I. Oop. And I've got I'll a big enough over. wing on this one to use that as a skew. There's nearly three quarters of an inch there. So... It's all being done with, I'm not quite sure, this is a 5.8, I believe, bar. So is that a half inch UK bowl gouge? Um, I'll put some pictures up of ones that I've done later on. Um, obviously can't turn one at the moment, but... 
Uh, Keith and I put pictures up of what we've done. Yeah, I put the some up day. and I did the other. I'm starting to get day. ready for uh, Halloween. So. going to be a glass of ones in this country, I think. Well, we've done well with ones down there, haven't we? We've always done in well the with ones down there. That's why I take annual leave now for it as well. It'd be nice to actually get down there. I haven't been down there for months. Oh, he's, he, he's using his uh, skew as a negative rake scraper. Okay. Unless you've got a really fat skew, it will say, blunt a, quite quick. It's a weak edge. Yep. Alright, let's see what that looks like in the static position. I have to have words with my nurse as well. It's the sink lack of Jaffa cakes in my workshop. Alright, you can take a little bit more out of that. So. I'll try and do this as one sweeping cut. Terry Hooper saying he used a skew um, to make a wand, and it was from an umbrella pole that had been in the workshop for a few years. Uh, Douglas Mungham's just joined. Uh, Good Douglas. evening, Douglas. I did that with all our old wooden curtain poles when Joe swapped to metal. They all come out here, got all cut up and turned into wands. I've just acquired three from next door out of his roof because they didn't want them when they moved in so they got tossed up there and I'm going to make uh, Christmas decorations out of them so they're either going to be snowmen, Christmas trees I've got a bit in the bottom that wants to not play ball Webfoot resin is in I can't remember his name. Is it David? No, I'm no. trying to remember. Remember. I can never remember him. I, st I started a list of names and I've lost it. Yeah, I think we've all done that. Right, it's going to have to be a scraper on that piece. Oh, it's David by the look of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just to get it to a sandable. <laughs> so. But it's a negative rake scraper. Pete, you would be a lifesaver. <laughs> Peter's offering Scott, offering jappers for Scott. He's working near Scott tomorrow. Yeah, oh, is he working? I thought sitting in the car was uh, not working, Pete. Oh no, he's been um, up at Clancy. He ain't been sitting in the car. He popped in the other day with a present for me. Bless him. That's better. Um, There's an interesting question from Terry Hooper. A lot of skews used for wands have, have curved cutting edges. Are they better than straight? Now, you could have a long discussion beginners? on this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah I don't, for beginners, basically. I don't think so, but it does take the corners no. away out of the fire to firing line. Well, I think that's right. the big advantage of them. Yeah. Now, I'm actually going to use a half inch spindle gouge I want to put a very delicate ring on there so that I can differentiate between the bowl and the rim so generally oh, speaking you wouldn't use a spindle gouge on a on bowl work but I feel quite happy and quite safe to do it I'm not taking massive cuts that is oh, less than half a mil coming off of there running the bevel round and I get right down to the bottom that's all Just I'm so going to do with that you know, know which, which, which put your cornflakes in 
Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Um, going over to the the smelly bit that uh, one or two people don't like using, but I don't see why not. It does smell, but I've got the big sucker going, so hopefully I can put just like that a burn ring in there. Just like that. Not like that. Bit of formica. Bit of formica. It does smell, but uh, not excessive with the dust extractor going. That's you pulled getting, a lot of it out. Are you getting short of formica, Keith? Because I've got loads uh, of it if you want some. No, because I've got um, all the edging strips all right, that okay. I've saved off of old kitchens that I put in. All right, get rid of some tools. Don't want them over there. Get the house brick out again. I was saying that. I don't know what I've done with all my formica, but I was given some bits and I cut them all up. Right, and I've dropped, the, I've, put, I've put them somewhere. Drop the volume right down. Can you see the dust coming off the top of the paper? Not really. You see it building up on my finger anyway, but there it goes oh, down the hole now. Yeah, I was going to say, saw it there, yep, yep. So, not putting much pressure at all on the paper, letting the letting the paper do, do its work. Let it cut. And I've got quite a good finish straight off with a chisel, so I don't need... A lot of sanding. So while I'm sanding this, I can chat away. Andy and I have had a little discussion before we came live and before Scott joined us. Um, tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to program a pop-up live in on my channel at about, or oh, at 2.30. We are going to, Andy and I, both turn a wand live. Um, it won't be simultaneous because we won't have an earworm. So I'll earworm for Andy while he's turning a bit and then he'll come in and earworm for me while I'm turning a bit. So it's just a bit of fun. Um, blame Brian for it. Everybody else I've does. Done, yeah, I've done several, but not live. So I will be I will be working live with a skew because that's what the challenge is, and uh, I've selected my piece of wood, and it looks like that. It's twelve inches of twenty mil square oak bit of european oak so i'm going to make that so <laughs> with the following wind and the gods in my court quarter into a respectable ish wand tomorrow and andy's going to do the same hopefully so it's Gosh. not a challenge it's not a speed challenge it's not who's made the best one it's just a bit of cam camaraderie between the two of us and filling in a slot that no one else has got. So after oh, Wayne finishes just before three, just before two, sorry, um, give everyone a chance to go and get a coffee, beer, have a sleep, whatever you fancy doing, depending which part of the world you're in. And then uh, come back and watch us. So it will be on my channel. I will split screen it with Andy. I'm hoping Scott will tell me a, a bit later on how I can get uh, a full screen in for both of us. And also oh, after it's screened, um, how I can get it onto Andy's channel. I can do that for you. Oh, no, thank you, Scott. Well done, mate. Cheers. I should be using mahogany, by the way. I'm not using oak. 
because I happen to have a piece of mahogany kicking about the workshop, which will do nicely for it. So that's down to 240. Let's see what it looks like. It's a little bit of a mark there. That's diff Just very different from your usual style, isn't it? Yes. Well, anyone can make a bowl. So um, I've done this before, not live. But, uh, I quite like this style that gives you the drop rim. Yeah, and it's nice. Also gives you the difference between a straight roll over for the bowl and make the rim something out of it. Lionel's in and talking French. And him. My, my, my schoolboy French is not quite up to it, interpreting it. My schoolboy French it was uh, says all nothing. Day yesterday. It's since Swiven's Day or Saint's Day, isn't it? God knows. Two years on core, you're very something. Gage, G G E. I don't know what that <laughs> means. Looks like Gerard's going. Now he's got to go and flip some more burgers. Back All to right. the cook up. Yes. To the, uh, back to the slave area. Uh, yeah, Peter Corcoran says he'll have to watch that in the evening. It'll be there, Peter. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It was just uh, just Should something different. Yeah, um, we both haven't turned on my, um, live, shall we say? So I just said to Andy, "Do you fancy it?" He said, "Yeah, go for it." I've got a little bit of a mark across the middle. I don't mind so looking an idiot. <laughs> any worse than normal? <laughs> Absolutely. So, yeah. You get used to it. Yeah. That should be a laugh. Well, it'll be, in a, be the similar sort of situation as what Andy and I always turn in and make it jovial. And there's too much dead serious stuff in the world at the moment. Oh, God, yeah. I think that is actually a mark in the, in the wood. In the grain. Mm. Yeah. Could be. Let's see if it will go out under power. Crank the volume up as it's right in the middle. Make it go round a bit faster, even if it's uh, too fast for normal sanding. But in the middle there, the wood is basically standing still. Oh, Jigsy's shed is in. Evening. Hello, John, isn't it? I believe, I believe. it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, somebody's saying hi, Ben, but I haven't seen Ben here. But he must be. Ben, her? <laughs> no, here. Oh. I must get this Just... mic fixed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he, must, he must have come in. Oh, it's yeah, way back. Yeah, Ben, jamming, howdy all. Yep, 10 past 8. Oh, oh four, four minutes ago. <laughs> Lack in there. Yeah. I didn't see it either. No, nor did I, because I'm concentrating on get something a little bit. I was watching your sanding. <laughs> I mean, I'm oh, so right. interested in sanding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Real right. simple things is in. I was in before. Hello, Baz. Barry. It's getting ready to be invaded. He's going to be invaded. Yeah. Have Have you got all the jellies and the uh, bits and pieces that you need to take the pain away, mate? I've had Rich's gun and dry. Oh God. It was. I, I enjoyed. I enjoyed my invade. If I'm honest, it was very relaxed. Yeah, I did. I did mine. Right. Time to have a good, good old chat. Yeah, it was good. I think this is a re-invade. Is I'm it? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that um, Rich has invaded Baz before, but Baz has uh -huh. come a long way recently, doing a lot of epic scroll soaring. And, um, Rob CP is in. Hello, Rob. Yeah. Welcome, welcome to the Madhouse. So, you're just in time, Rob, to see almost the finished article. <laughs> yeah. uh, don't worry, oh, you can no, watch it back it's, tomorrow. That says it's his first one. Oh, okay. it's his first one. Why did mm. I think? But it's it's just relax and enjoy it, Baz. It's, it's really very easy. He's very unthreatening. 
Is he Perhaps working he live, Baz, or did he pre-record? Because I know he's doing pre-records on this now, isn't he? Is he? Yeah. Well, or starting to, um, which he always used to do, apparently. No, before they were live. Yeah, you actually went started, started. Yeah, yeah, live, not pre-records, I mean, sorry. Me yeah, when they first the started, Rich would... Um, he actually travelled to their workshops, didn't he? Yeah. I gather. But uh, All I COVID nineteen to now is to that. dry that off. Crazy. I can turn the big sucker off because we're not making any more dust. Yep, that's pretty good. Get rid of that's that. Not, paper. It, it's not. It's not bad at all. <laughs> Where did I put the abrasive in down there? Not bad for a beginner, is it? No, uh, it's not bad at all. Sin, I've seen worse. You keep practicing, Keith. You'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thir- Rob CP years, saying I I've uh, I've turned my first successful beads with a skew today. They oh, are well very done, pretty, Rob. but no yep. spirals. No, that's good. That's good. That's yeah. progress. So, yep. I yes, don't it's like not doing... the easiest uh, baby to use. I don't like doing beads with a with a skew, if I'm honest. But I will do if I have I've to. Got a, I've got a round skew. Um. That yes, I, I have. Yeah, if I'm doing beads, but then I, I made just it myself. Catch. Did little you half uh, inch, have any half inch joy one. with the um, that very thin one I gave you, Scott? That half inch one. Um. Just before you were Moby Dick. Last time you come oh, yeah. over. Yeah. I use it all the time. Good. I found, to be perfectly honest, I found it too um, thin. And flimsy, but that's me. Yeah, right, so that's nice. on quite to be low. Honest, a lot of people hate the skew. Yeah, but it's one of my favourite turning tools. I like it because I like the finish you get. That's that's the big plus to it. <coughs> Lenny King just just made me choke on my biscuit. Oh, that was her fault, was it? <laughs> She's good at that. <coughs> She said today, butthole beads. Keith, what have you been teaching your daughter? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I missed that, missed that completely. Oh. So that's... Terry the... Hooper's got a sheet. He said he'll catch Thanks, up the Terry. rest of tomorrow. Cheers, so Terry. Let's put, let's put the polish on in forward, and now I'm going to work it in in reverse. And... Exactly the same for those that missed the first bit. This is a bit of 1600 Nyweb, and it is Libron Fine Paste Wax Clear that I use, only because I haven't got any uh, Yorkshire grit here. So this is the method I used to use before you know I what found you Yorkshire do, you? grit. You left that, a mate? tin for the workshop and a tin for home. Yeah, well, I did, but then uh, I finished the tin for the workshop, or the tin for home, and I took it to the workshop last week. It's probably in the back of the car, because I didn't be, couldn't be bothered to empty it, knowing that I was down there last Sunday, and I'm down there again this Sunday. So, put the wee bracks in there. Grab a sheet of... Elephant's loo roll. Uh, Drop the speed back. Buff it off with some paper. Lynn says, sorry, Scott, try not to kill you. It's my fault yeah. for eating biscuits. Yeah. No Jaffa cakes. I've got to go on the custard creams. Next best thing. That's strange. That's missing on the on the StreamYard chat. Yes, um, YouTube blocked it, so I showed it. Ah, right. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's why. That's why I hadn't seen it because I'm looking at StreamYard. Yeah. And, uh, Thanks, Eric. Don't work too hard, mate. It'll be yeah. up tomorrow for you to have a look at. Fresh bit of paper to uh, finally buff that off. But, Rob says uh, I'm going to buy some spruce tomorrow and practice and plan to do another one. 
I oh, wouldn't do it mate. with spruce. Nope. It's too coarse a grain. Personally, um, if you can get some oak or any of the slightly harder woods, ash, ash, oak, ash is good because it's virtually non, um, no growth, no branches in it. No, and you can then use the grain to put different effects on it. Yeah, you yep. can uh, finish it like that. Cream, yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, I've, got, I've got loads of ash. So have I. No, I'll stick to my mahogany. That's what I've decided. Yeah. I should just polish it. I won't colour it or anything. So there we are, guys. Uh, what's that? Uh, 40 minutes? About that. 50. 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Well, Including chat, yep. Yep. That looks really nice, Keith. Love it. That is a really nice finish on that. And I'm not just saying that. Um, there's the bit that flew out. Uh, it's got a... Oh, I must just take a bit off wax that's crept around the corner. I do like a downswept rim, I must admit. I've done one or two myself, and it's it's lovely. Mm. Yeah. It's yeah, so the wax has just crept over, so it's just a matter of I can take it off with a bit of paper. Yeah. But, uh, there we are. Sycamore would do it, Rob. It's a bit bland, but it'll it'll do the job. It's nice to turn. Yeah. It's harder to turn than some of the um, ashes. Because the ash has got pretty straight grain. Oh, I think that one's... Yeah, the ash I've got has hard hard bits in it. Yeah. Which, uh, so, there we are, guys. Some of builder's bearers that we used to get. Yeah. Yeah, they were brilliant, weren't they? Mm. So, how about that for some colour in there then, guys? Gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Really yeah. like that. Really like that. So, put in the ring around it. Makes the That's bowl look actually deeper, but iron it across. Nice, nice touch. Yeah. Level. So, mm. a different way of tarting up the bowl. Um, we oh, haven't been racing. Oh. Terry Bartlett says, uh, panic stations, got to shoot. New granddaughter imminent. Congratulations, right. Terry. Good luck. Yeah, well done, Terry. Take it easy, Terry. Yeah. Yeah. So, a 40-minute bowl without too much panic in the way of turning um i know it's a soft wood but the soft woods are not the easiest always to turn but there's some really nice character and color in that and that's come all the way from papua new guinea so lots of really nice comments in there nice looking piece key yep. joe uh, nice bowl uh, joe's just come in really late at the last minute yeah um let me put you Hoods up on screen as well. So I've just put in a link to Richie's Invade at nine oh, right. o'clock. I guess that's what it was. Yep, no problem there. Okay. Uh, yeah. So for the latecomers and Joe, um, Andy and myself will be doing a pop-up live tomorrow afternoon about 2.30 on my channel. We are both going to be doing, not quite simultaneously, but uh, within the hour and a bit, turning a, a wand for this wand challenge that's going on this week using a skew. A so, wand each, uh, yes. A wand each, yeah. yeah um, we won't be doing each other's wands. No, no <laughs> I'm not letting him in my workshop. Yeah, I'm so saying what a lovely dish. Yeah. Do you see it the is. bottom, Joe? It's really nice, deep colour. Um, no, no stains, no nothing. Um, I quite enjoyed turning that piece. Good. I, d I wasn't looking forward to it with <coughs> the branch coming out there and going in there, so it went straight in. But uh, it turned it relatively easy. 
So that's what's happening tomorrow afternoon. It's not a scheduled one. It's just a quick pop-up, bit of a laugh between Andy and myself. I mean, if Scott wanted to come in and do it, we could have three. It's not a major problem, but he can't stand at the moment. So I can't stand at the moment. I'm hoping, no. fingers crossed, um, that I will be back next Thursday evening doing some bits with... Okay. And you can have one all to yourself. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But we are going to see how things go. I'm not going to rush it. No. no. Um, as no, much as no I want to get back on the lathe. Well, it's covered if first. you're not um, yeah. able to, mate. We've got it covered between Andy and myself if necessary. But He's uh, got it covered. He, I, I may yeah. be worming. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it may be worming. If yeah. I'm back from if I'm back from Telford in time, which I should be. Mm. Are you off to the rural life? I just got to do some jobs in my sister's bungalow. Mm. Yeah, you get lumber when you're the only practical one in the family, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And no, Rob's I don't saying mind. that should have fifty pound added for the to the price just for the beautiful grain. Well, if you want it, Rob, send us uh, 150 it's quid. yours. Yeah, send us <laughs> yeah. 70 quid plus the postage and you can have it. <laughs> call it 80, um, I'll post it up to you. <laughs> Quite happy to yeah. do that. I'll give you a fiver. <laughs> it's got bit missing out of the bottom. Yeah, yeah. I'm so not paying for that bit. Yeah. <laughs> Get discount for that bit. <laughs> yeah, so. good. That was that was very nice, very good. Not many yeah. questions tonight for a change. So that's no, good, guys. No, no, not too many. You've obviously answered them all as you've gone through, and still did it in fifty minutes. So. I don't know what Douglas is, thinks you're going to be doing, Scott, but he says, "Mind your fingers." <laughs> that was probably why I was caught eating. Eating, the biscuit. yeah, eating. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it's complicated this eating business, isn't it? Yeah. So the next time, apart from tomorrow afternoon, which is a pop-up, um, I'm doing Tuesday afternoon for me, and I'm covering Rich Tuesday evening for Andy. So you've got me two sessions on Tuesday. Like it or lump it, um, I'm here. We can have a bit of a laugh. If Scott wants to pop in worming on Tuesday, he's more than welcome. I don't know what uh, he's got in his hectic uh, social diary. <laughs> um, hang on, hang on. Um, oh, yeah, look, I found it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so, then Thursday, Thursday as well next week. So, Well, yeah. it might be. It's up unless, to Scott. I mean, Scott's there, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Scott's going to call that one. So, yeah, um, two for next see Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I say, you're covered, mate, anyway, regardless if you don't want to do it yeah. or you don't, don't feel like you want to do it or you feel like you want to do it and you can't do it. So uh, that's, that's good. Busy, busy week for Keith. Yeah. Lynn yeah. says you're copying Domino's doing two for Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Copper oh, hours off. Domino's, yes, you're right. I'm with you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll catch up in the end. Yeah. Haven't you, have they given you a process to make sure it keeps you getting better? Yes, sit with my leg up and do naff all and take the yeah. antibiotics. Yeah, keep taking the tablets. It's the antibiotics that do the job, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. so I had... I Cheers, I, John. I had, loads you to treat the se I had loads to treat the sepsis on the Saturday. Yeah. I had about five days' worth whilst in hospital, and then I've had ten days of these. I reckon oh, they should either be... I reckon they should either be given to a horse or they should be inserted and not swallowed that out big. <laughs> yeah. um, I, yeah. I had three co three courses of them before I was finished and it, it was worth it because it did, did knock it on the head because I had yeah. a very similar thing. I've got to go back for blood next week. so I hope they're better with you than they are with me because they can never find my veins. Oh, mate, they love my veins. I have all sorts of problems with them. They can't find them at all. I no, keep them well hidden. <laughs> Excuse me. I had so many needles and cannulas, and I think at one stage I had three cannulas in. Yes, I have had good when when I had heart surgery. I had uh, lots of stuff in and out of me, but uh, they mm. they all had problems finding my veins. And this this I guy, they had, I even had the, the 
the consultant couldn't find it, so they gave up in the end, put, said do, do them by mouth. Yeah, which doctor instead? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but I didn't didn't mind that. So just going down to the hospital. Right, guys. If there's no anyway. more questions coming in, um, I'm going to hit this on the head. So it's good I can to see go you, Scott. Yeah, quick drink you, before Rich invades tonight. Yeah, don't forget to head over and uh, support Barry. And uh, Wayne's on tomorrow lunchtime. And yeah, Wayne's on tomorrow. Um, We're Emma, on tomorrow Emma's afternoon. on Sunday, Saturday, Sunday evening, I believe. Sunday. Saturday usually, isn't it? Saturday's Saturday normally evening. Emma. I don't know if Ed yeah. Oliver will be on Saturday morning. He didn't um, do last week, did he? So it's quite possible he will be. But uh, just well, no, keep Emma an eye was, on Facebook. Emma was I'm doing from, one tonight, wasn't she? She was doing one tonight because I, I gave her my apologies yeah. and I couldn't get there because I'm here. Yeah, she's oh, doing that's, uh, um, right, members only. Team, yeah, members team, only, that is, yeah. yeah, yeah. Tiny Turner, yeah. Team Tiny. Yeah. So. yeah. Good. Okay, so, Everybody's I'm saying gonna, goodbye. So. I'm going to crack it on the head then, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> get the mouse to cooperate with me. Thank you all for popping in. Hopefully you've liked it. Hopefully you've hit the thumbs up. If not, you've hit the thumbs down. Do I care? Not a bit. And hopefully you're all subscribed and you've hit the notification bell. In which case, you will know when I go live tomorrow. So I'm going to end it with that. Have a good evening, everybody. What's left of it. And good night. Night,